Welcome to the Numerology and the Astrology for May 30th, 2020. And yes, for those that keep noticing, I'm in a jacket again because it dropped 30 degrees again. And I'm not in a sundress because it's raining and it's cold and it's foggy out here. So here we are at the end of May and it's raining, which I'm not going to complain because in Mendocino County, we definitely need as much rain as we can in Northern California. All right. <sighs> the news is a little bit intense at the moment, and we're all trying to breathe through the news. If you add the numbers 531 2020, you get a 13, and that equals the number 4. So, the 4 is about neutral mind, but there is nothing neutral in this moment, I would say. Um, I find that often in numerology, that's what happens, that here we have to practice something called neutral mind in the middle of extreme chaos, and that's the challenge. So are you tired of the chaos yet? Are you tired of so much cruelty? This number will point out all the imbalances in life that should be obvious, but sometimes we go numb from so much happening over and over again until the horrible seems to become normalized. I personally never want this to happen to me. Um, I want to retain that rawness of when terrible things happen to be able to authentically respond without complacency and just not feeling into the suffering of others. All great souls have had to master this domain and remain raw and real to the suffering of humanity. In fact, that's what makes them masters, that they are completely fully present with the suffering. They are not blind to the suffering. They try to help those suffering. They try to minister to those suffering, not the other way around. Um, and that's what makes a master rather than a person still working through karma that is lashing out and wanting to hurt other people. Um, the only way to respond is with love and listen and compassion. Numbness promotes complacency and being out of touch with the moment. You freeze and you do, you do not seem to speak or connect well when stressors happen. Then people will think that you are cold, unfeeling, and gapped from this reality. Now, everyone does this from time to time, but this life is about being fully here and in the now. The game is to bring all of yourself into this body at this time as much as possible. Embodiment naturally requires you to be present. Being neutral is not about numbing out. It is about being a witness to the truth as it unfolds in life. The astrology today um, the moon is in Virgo until just before lunchtime, and then this will help you be particular, and this will help you be particular about your actions and choices. It is an energy that is helpful and highly intelligent. Your discernment is critical now, so use it wisely. Then the moon goes into the balancing and relationship oriented sign of Libra. You desire more harmonious interactions with others. Connection is so important. Be fair, be kind and learn to listen to what others need, not just your own voice in your mind. Legal issues are important and what is right becomes critically important. Know that conflicts want a fair resolution. The moon harmonizes with Saturn and makes things realistic and practical. Just the right words will not be enough. Everyone wants actions to align with those words. But the moon's square to, to Mercury can point to misunderstandings even when you're really trying to do the right thing and stay as peaceful as possible. While you want precise answers, you are not going to get them today. Okay, the June 2020 astrological forecast. Venus will be retrograde in Gemini until June 24th. This is a month to review relationship issues and decide where you need to go forward. You are going to need to adjust your expectations and let go of something that you have been hanging on to. With the eclipses this month and Venus, which is associated with money, stocks, and bonds, everyone should be reevaluating their investments and making changes that are more cautious and less risky. I expect a wildly fluctuating stock market and an explosion of COVID cases. Because of that, 
you might as well take a look at your budget. You are going to need one. Mercury turns retrograde in the home and family sign of Cancer, June 17th through July 12th. It is time to do your own home repair. Remember family matters, black lives matter, fairness matters, people needing to feel safe matters. And while restaurants are opening up, and I personally will not be going to any except for takeout, know that restaurants matter, businesses matter, and people's work and being able to survive matters. Know that all communications will tend to be emotional. Be careful what you say. We also have these three eclipses in June and early July. We are finally leaving this dense energy of the past three years with the Cancer Capricorn polarity and shifting into the Sagittarius Gemini polarity. After the isolation of the COVID virus, I expect this to cause a lot of highly restlessness, got to move people to leap into social and summer games. At the summer solstice, there is also a particularly important solar eclipse that should prove to be very illuminating, though I'm pretty sure what you see you will not like. Then June 30th, the second of three conjunctions of Pluto-Jupiter in Capricorn will happen. Just a reminder that the COVID virus was realized around January 12th with the Pluto-Saturn conjunction. Then the virus went global at the first conjunction of Jupiter and Pluto in April. And it will be interesting to see how this influences humanity this round. The third conjunction happens in this round. I fear that we will have a second wave of the virus and then a third wave in November. I hope I am wrong. I will cross my fingers and toes. My quote for today. As the lightning came in last night, it it did it with no sound. How often do storms sneak in silently? Do you notice the storms around you even now? Storms are of all kinds. There are storms of emotion and storms of technological advancement. There are storms that frighten you to your bones. There are storms that amaze and excite you. There are storms that arise in the distance and there are storms that you create. What storms are happening around you now? Did you create it in order to feel alive? Can you observe it with amazement and wonder? Can you walk through the storm without fear? We are going to find out. And my blog for today. May those with peace and calm in their heart do something that tears hatred apart. There must be those who stand and fight against this endless, darkest night. We cannot be whole when some are left out. We cannot be a country that creates such doubt. We have ripped from we have been ripped from a country of peace and become known for lies that will never cease. Take care of each other. Bye.